will I learn not to trust Stibbins? He's ruined everything. To think I want enjoy. Aha! Perfect. You look like the fit sort. I wonder if you can assist me in an archaeological project of considerable importance. I came here searching for some rather valuable relics, but I've encountered something of a setback. Well, I discovered this fabulous portal in the Aeliot ruins. I sent my assistant through, and it was a mistake. The portal apparently leads to somewhere in the Grotwood, and basically he returned with the Old Mary army at his heels. Yes, and unfortunately it seems they're now planning a full-scale invasion. Establishing a base, building siege weapons. We need to close the portal, quickly. I discovered an old tome that explains how, if I can find it again. Will you help me? You're a true hero, and I mean that. My camp is beside the ruins. That's where I left the book. Get the book, use it to activate the large pillars in the ruins. Then meet me inside the west door to the lower ruins. The portal's down there. I suppose that's a reasonable question. As you might imagine, the elves have locked the main entrance to the portal room. There is a back way, however, through an old prison of some sort. The pillars unlock the door into the prison. Oh, I haven't the foggiest notion what's in the prison. It's been centuries, though. Whatever was down there is surely dead. If not, well, you seem capable enough. And it can't be any worse than the damned elves. My researchers in High Rock gave me the essential background. Solace N was an alien stronghold, built by human slaves in the Marithic era. The elves eventually got what they deserved during the Yokudan colonization of Hammerfell in the First Era. It's quite fascinating, really. It would seem to prove that the Altmer and the Aeliots were still connected further into the Marithic era than we believed. I actually wrote a book on the subject. Well, someone wrote it for me, but who's counting? Unless they're sporting Dominion armor as a fashion statement, I'm afraid so. If my assistant had half a brain, he would have let himself be captured rather than lead the Aldmeri troops back here. Well, we are at war, and an enemy army this deep into our territory would be a very bad thing. I would hate to think I destroyed the Daggerfall Covenant. Of course, it was really Stibbon's fault. You're a true hero, and I mean... Oh, uh, hello. I was just tidying up. This was our camp before the elves came. Well, it was Lady Laurent's camp. Oh, I shouldn't say our anymore. Oh, goodness. What will I do? She fired me. Because it's all my fault. 
the Aldberry. Lady Laurent sent me through the portal to investigate. When the elves saw me, I ran and led them to the portal. So now she hates me. Please, I beg you, will you help me get back in her good graces? Praise you, praise you. I'm trying to gather all her things. But her tools are scattered out in the ruins, and those are her most important possessions. If you'll get the tools for me, I just know she'll forgive me. I just know it. There's one more thing you should know. Lady Laurent hired this thuggish Tamian fellow. I believe she already asked him to recover her tools. You should speak to him up on the ramparts. And tell him we have it taken care of. Because he's a brute, and I need to be the one to give her the tools. If I can't make her forgive me, she'll just leave me here, and then what will I do? This is my only chance. I find it inconceivable that any Oldma could have called this blight their home.
I fear I will never be able to get all this sand out of my feet. Tremendous foresight to have placed the portal here. You certainly made short work of those elves. There seem to be few odd skeletons down here. No problem for you, I'm sure. Now, I assume you found the old tome in my camp? Thank you very much. Fortunately, I can translate the ancient Iliad, and that should tell us how to close the portal. It's through this door right behind me. The problem is that it's locked, but it appears that it's controlled by a switch deeper in the ruins. Would you be a dear and find the switch? Oh, only I could have someone like you around full time. If you'll get the switch, that will give me time to study up whatever words I need to speak to close the portal. Once you get it opened, I'll just go on in, so meet me in the portal room. Before you speak, stranger, know this. For centuries a spell has bound me. Many have tried to free me and failed. This prison has no lock or bonds to break. Did you hear me? This is no common spell. It was cast by Ultimer wizards long since dead. This is a true curse. The task is beyond you. Of course, a fool would still try. Do as you wish. I won't harbor faint hope. 
for centuries. Amateurs like yourself have tried to release me. Fools, all of you. You'd have a better chance of becoming the next Emperor. It pains me to speak of the past. Would you force me to relive such bitter memories? Ha! Please! There's a word I remember well. Please, she said to me. No one will know, she promised. She was wrong. Nuralanya, she was called in her high elven tongue. She was just Nura when we were together. I could deny her nothing. I was enthralled, a slave madly in love with his master. Our secret was eventually exposed, and the elves were furious. Our love was an abomination in their eyes. They decided execution was too kind a punishment for our crime. Aye, I was here, and she was there. To see one another, but not able to hear, or touch, or hold. Yet even that torment was insufficient for their retribution. The elves wove a spell to extend my life and prolong my torment. Elves live a long time, but not forever. I sat and watched as Nura slowly grew old and died. Some time after that, the Regatta came and slaughtered the other elves. But even with them dead, the spell held strong. It was the Regatta, the Warrior Wave. The warriors sought vengeance. The swords of Yakuda passed through these halls, and the High Elves were washed away. They would have killed me, were it not for this spell. Instead, I watched, safely ensconced within this prison, as my captors were slaughtered. Many centuries passed before I learned who the warriors were, or from whence they came. A foreign people had arrived on these shores. They came from a distant land, Yakuda it was called. Yakudan warriors set out to conquer the new world they found. Singers named them the Regatta. If I knew, don't you think I would have escaped by now? All I know is the tiles must be used in the right order, and the order was determined by time, whatever that means. It pains me to speak of them. Fine. What would you ask of me? It was the Regatta, the warrior wave. Fine. What would you ask of me? Expect that to work.
How are you doing that? By the bloody fangs of Moloch! By the stench of Moloch's gaping maw! What have you done? How can this be? I'm... free? I... I should thank you. But I don't even think this is what I wanted. It's been so long since my life was my own. This is all I know. I don't want to leave. Never utter such words. Nora, is it really you? It's been so long. We've suffered enough of this curse. By the grace of Mara, I've been allowed to take you beyond this mortal realm. Finally, a release from the suffering of this world. Come, my love. We have the rest of eternity to be together. They have so much faith in that seal they put on the main door. They don't even have anyone guarding the portal. I'm not complaining, though. Are you ready to do this? All right. You're going to have to protect me, though. The chamber may be clear now, but as soon as I start the ritual, they'll realize it on the other side. They might try to charge through and stop us. All right. Let's get this started. <clears throat> Go. Go. So... Take that, you damned elves! Oh, wait, I just lost my place. Alusaba. Takio? Takio? How do you do that? All right, 
I think I've got it. Mala Alu Takeo. Well, that takes care of that now, doesn't it? I'm actually quite relieved. It would have been so embarrassing to have been responsible for the fall of Alakir. After I opened the portal, I considered just leaving and denying that I was ever here. I am too. Now. If you would, though, I still would prefer to keep this quiet. I do have a reputation to uphold, you know. Finally. The elves came damn near ruining my entire expedition. Of course, Stibbins was really to blame. Regardless, I'll be glad to get back to studying the runes instead of skulking around and trying to hide from the elves. Lady Laurent clear out the elves. What are you still dawdling about for? Is it Stibbins? A bootless coward. He's hoping Lady Laurent will forgive him for starting all this. It could be worse. Lady Laurent pays well, and she's got a pretty ambitious travel schedule. So I'm getting to see places I had never dreamed of. Can't say this desert's one of the highlights, though. Did he? I'm surprised he could get that out through the whimpering and whining. Lady Laurent already has someone to recover her tools. And you would recover them and give Stibbins the credit? Just following orders. Even before this, Stibbins couldn't keep up, so Lady Laurent hired me. I was just getting a bird's eye view before getting to work. Say, though, if... You were going to save Stibbins the trouble. Why not help me instead? Well, for one thing, I'm better looking. For another, I'm actually getting paid. Stibbins was always just a glorified slave. Help me get the tools and I'll cut you in. Don't think too long. I'll go down there and get the tools myself if I have to. They're in backpacks, by the way. I bet Stibbins didn't even tell you that. I was wondering if you were going to ask that. Yeah, I snatched up a few tool bags earlier. There's no reason for me to give them to you, is there? I suppose if you want to lug around the extra weight, I won't complain. Once you've got them all, though, just remember to bring them back to me, not Stibbins. Don't think too long. I'll go down there and get the tools myself if I have to. They're in backpacks, by the way. I bet Stibbins didn't even tell you that.
for Harishan would the never see us coming. Empty. I watched you rummaging around out there in the ruins. If you had been in trouble, I would have had your back. Just so you know. I'm guessing you've gathered all the tools by now? All right. It's time to get paid, then. Give me the tools, and I'll go ahead and give you half of what Lady Laurent promised. I think that's being pretty generous of me. Here's half, along with my gratitude, which can be quite valuable in certain circles. I hope we cross paths again. Next time, I'll be the one doing you a good turn. You can count on it. Poor Craven Stibbons. The truth is, I almost feel for him. Almost.